All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the C++ section on conditionals and logics. These are going to be the core found one of the, everything we're going about it, going over in this section in this course is the core foundation of C++ and conditionals and logic is no different. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey guys, I want to take a moment to recommend Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp to you. Dev Mountain's been a long-term sponsor of mine. I appreciate their support as I've helped grown the channel and tell everyone about their great facilities. I've actually been to their Provo, Utah campus, and it's beautiful. So if you're interested in a full-stack JavaScript bootcamp, they provide housing alongside the tuition, so you can get up and go today. They're one of the most affordable boot camps in the world, in the States, and I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All right, let's see here. So, um, conditionals essentially mean if something evaluates to true, do this. If it evaluates to false, do this. And then there's a couple tools to help us along the way. And those are the relational operators, logical operators, and then a switch statement is a different type of conditional. So, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move forward and I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, in here, they have a coin flip demo uh, where you can see that uh, it looks like they're generating some sort of random number and then we're dividing it by two and then adding one to get our coin. So um, forget what this is doing. Basically, this is going to evaluate to a zero or a one or a one. Yeah, a one or a two or something like that. And um, if it's a one, it's going to put it's going to put heads. If it's a if it's anything else, it's going to put tails. So you can see here we have if our variable this double equals. Now remember, single equals is assignment. Double equals is comparison. So we're comparing the value in coin to this value of one. And if it is in fact one, it's going to print heads. If it's not, it's going to print tails. And so when we run this five different times. Uh, we should probably about half the time get heads or tails, I would imagine. So tails, heads, tails, tails, heads. So you can see that um, because we're generating a random number, this logic does whatever it does, um, but it's doing it based off of our conditional statements we put in there. And you'll see for the if statement, they give this very nice uh, diagram if condition if whatever you have in here and remember it always has to evaluate to a boolean a true or false value um, so um, if condition do whatever you want to do that's what they mean with statements run run your code in this case print out heads right um, so inside grade.cpp, write an if statement where the grade is greater than 60 is true, output pass. So if grade is greater than 60, and notice how we're using more math operators, right? So greater than, um, it works exactly like you would expect greater than to work. What we want to do is tdc out. And we'll go ahead and put pass. All right, let's go run our stuff. And you can see it goes ahead and does pass. So relational operators, which we were talking about earlier. So um, remember I told you the double equals is to see if they are equal. The not equals means that they're not equal, right? So that's a exclamation point in equal sense. Then we already went over the greater than. There's also less than, and there's greater than or less than, uh, equal to, rather. Greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So pretty much the everything should make some decent sense for the math ones. The only one that maybe is the not equal to. So there, we're just making sure the values aren't the same. So in our condition here, if our grid is less than 60, what will happen? Well, it will in fact 
fit, it's not gonna print out anything because our grade is greater than it, right? So 90 is greater than 60, which that would evaluate to false, so nothing gets printed out. However, what we really want here is change the condition of grade, grade greater to not equal to 60. In this case, it's going to pass because the grade is 90, it's definitely not 60, and thus it passes. Now, an else clause um, only comes after an if and is associated with that if. And what that means is that if this condition, if the if condition fails and is false, so it's not running this logic, there's an else to say, run this instead. You can sort of think of it uh, as a backup, right? Um, so if it's not heads, it's tails, right? Like in our first example. So, so if the grade is not greater than 60, we wanna go ahead and put out that you fail, right? If you can't get at least a 60, you fail. And there it is, right? So, well, that might be zoomed in too much. So there's an else if as well. So an else will run if all its previous conditions fail. Um, and previous conditions include the if and else if. So an else if will have its own condition that you only want to check if the previous if fails. So, um, and finally the else will run if the if, say this if fails, the else if fails, the else is like, all right, my turn, baby. And then it jumps in and it's, it runs its logic, but only if all the previous conditions fail. So um, you can see here, if the grade is uh, nine, go ahead and put freshman. If the grade is, and if that if it's that fails, if the grade is 10, go ahead and, and put sophomore. If the grade is 11, go ahead and put junior. If it's not that, then you must be a senior, uh, or uh, check senior. And then uh, else uh, super senior, meaning uh, you're, you're, you're a special type of person. Uh, so, um, so write an if, else if, and else. So if pH is greater than seven, uh, STD, We'll see out uh, basic. Let me go ahead and copy this real quick. Um, and then we got else if uh, pH is less than seven. We want to output that it's acidic. And finally, if it's, if it's not basic, it's not acidic, then what we're gonna output is simply that's neutral, right? All right, let's run that. Pretty cool. So a switch statement is a little bit different. Uh, so, so far we've been dealing with only checking if something evaluates to a Boolean, right? Is it true or is it false based off whatever conditions? Now, say we have a value we want to check, right? Um, maybe my, my full name is Dylan Christopher Israel and we know what that value is. And we want to, if it's Dylan, print first name, if it's Christopher, print middle name, if it's Israel, print last name. Um, there's a better way of doing that than having to do a bunch of if statements, and that's with, a, that's with a switch statement, which you pass in a value that you're checking, and then it, if it's that value, you then hit it. Now, you'll notice that we have this break in here. The reason for it is you want to, once you hit all of them, break out of the switch statement. Otherwise, it's going to continually check the rest of them. And then we have this default here. So this is, you can think of this as kind of our else, that say we don't know, in this case, the Pokemon that's coming through. What we wanna do is just say it's unknown. And then we um, break out of that as well. 
So let's go ahead and uh, in Pokedex here, add three more cases right before default. And so we're gonna add a new case here. This will be case seven. So if it's a seven, we want to go ahead and put, what do we put in here? Uh, Squirtle, our boy Squirtle. Then we want to break so it doesn't do the default as well. And let's go ahead and just copy that and copy that. And we'll just make this. Can we indent this, please? Hmm. I wonder why I just didn't indent this one. All right, so we'll make that case eight. Case eight will be War Turtle. War Turtle? Turtle? And then uh, case nine. That will be Last Doors. Excellent. We run our code. And we should have added uh, three different statements that if it's case, in this case, the number is nine, so it's going to be blast toys. All right, so we zoomed by quite a, a bit of stuff. Um, looks like it's having trouble here. Let me refresh the page. Uh, it looks like there's one more uh, little piece here. So, um, we talked about if statements. We also talked about else if and else. We also talked about relational operators as well as the switch statement. So, um, you know, we've done all of that, which is a core foundation of any programming language in about 11 minutes. So you're definitely going to feel, if this is your first language, um, it probably makes sense right now, but if you're going to try and use it, you might be suffering a little bit. So. Um, I'm going to encourage you to do this last section on your own because I think it'll give you a chance to practice what you're trying to do. However, um, I'll, uh, I'll do it, but uh, I would encourage you right now to pause the video and give it uh, your best shot. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Lil Mac is an interplanetary space boxer. He's starting to win championship belts. Right program that helps him keep track of his target weight. It should ask him what his earth weight is. So if we remember earlier, um, STD, let's create a variable here and we'll just uh, assume this is pounds. So we'll say int, uh, int weight is equal, uh, and we won't define it. And we'll say STD CN. And then we'll say weight. And here we'll say STD C out. And what's your weight? Question mark. Ask him to enter a number of the planet he wants. It should then compute his weight on the destination planet. Cool. So, um, so we'll do a, um, so we get the weight, uh, and then we'll say std colon colon c at cn and this will be uh let's go into your number um c out rather we're gonna ask him uh, what planet and then we're gonna say um into planet and this will be std cn uh, planet. And now we're gonna have a switch statement that takes in the planet, right? Cause that's what we're gonna be checking. And we're gonna find out his weight, right? And um, so if it's a case of one, what we want to do here is we want to std colon c out and uh, I forget if it was forward slash, I always get backwards. I think it's slash n. Do this on here to create new lines. Cool. All right, and um, 
what we want is for it to say the so one is Venus which will be so weight times uh, 0 0.78 and actually instead of ant this will be a double um, uh, I guess it could be an int. Uh, we'll, we'll treat it as a double. I don't remember if there is a um, math issue with this. But uh, so we'll do a case here. Now we could, of course, do everything in a bunch of if statements, but I happen to like to switch statements. And this will be 0 times 0.39. Then we're going to break. And so then we have case 3. And then I'll be STD out. I should have just copy this. And this will be your weight times 2.65 times 0 0.39. Break. Okay, I think you get the idea. Um, I don't need to type out all the statements. All right, let's run our code. See if there's any errors in here. Uh, cool. And if we wanted to actually run it, it would. Uh, we'd first have to compile it, right? So uh, if I remember correctly, G plus plus space dot cpp. Uh, what's your weight? Oh, yep. Remember uh, double quotes here because we're dealing with strings and not. Um, and not uh, characters. So let's try that one more time. Cool, that compiled. So now we want to dot a dot out. What's your weight? 185. What planet? One. And then you'll see it prints out 144.3. So that's how we would use all the things that we used in the last section. So um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful. Look forward to, I believe the, the last section, I'd have to check the syllabus, but um, of uh, the C++ and continue on down the path. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Take a look out for my courses in the description below to help get you going and pass those technical interviews, all that good stuff. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.